Hey guys, it's Jenny with Creature Cove here, and today we have some exciting news. I haven't expected any of our Robies, Rosies to drop babies until probably like August at least, but I came home today and I checked the, the girls and we had a litter drop already. So let me show you mom because the babies were born today and I wanted to catch them when they were first born. So... Without further ado, I'm going to look very angry mommy. I don't blame her. I left everything kind of as is, so you guys will see how fun the birthing scene is. So I will say, if you're squeamish in any way, I probably wouldn't watch this part. I just, I did take the babies out quick because I, it took me a second to be able to get into mom. She's, She's my feistiest one, but she's also my oh, my favorite. There was a slug stuck on the the flower. Yay, the slug rose. Um, so this was our Annery. The female is our Annery Magdalena, who is uh, beautiful. She's my favorite looking girl that I have. Um, she's also my sassiest. So I'm going to flip the camera down so you can now see the, the scene that will be set here. This is our girl who was not brumated at all. Last season, she also wasn't brumated, and she had four babies, two Annery Magdalenas and two um, Pet Agdal Magdalenas. So they were just visually the regular, the normal. So here's mine. And it looks like mom had one, two, three slugs. I did check her earlier. I can't honestly tell. I feel like there's one more baby in here. I took the other babies out. feel like she's still very smushy in the belly, but also very tender. So she would like to, she would like to kill me. But um, last year, she only had two slugs, I think. This year, it looks like she had three I am going to put this back on her for now. I will clean her up, but I just want to see. I got to get the babies um, squared away, too. Oh, that cute. me. You know, you want to get out of your nastiness. Okay. There we go. Okay, before I show you guys the bathing, let's set up their very cute baby bins. Dee, 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 dee. And I'm going to put little paper towels in here for them. Now, don't forget, Rosie's like it very arid. They don't like humidity. So I try to keep their enclosures as dry as possible. Uh, so there will be like no water squirmage or anything like that in here. Just nice and dry. They will be shedding pretty soon. And then we can feed them once they shed. It could take up to like 10 days ish, week to two weeks, is usually pretty common. Here we go. Bing, boom, bam. Uh, let's do, I got these flowers. I don't know if you guys noticed, but all of my, all of my mommy. <laughs> Rosy boas are named after flowers. So we got this mommy is Magnolia. She is adorable. Well, flowers to hide in, rocks to help them shed, the stanging some more yakage. And then we need our tides, which I took a number out of the snake discovery book and got the salt salt and pepper or sugar things holders in the restaurants and they work very well for babies unfortunately with rosies um they grow pretty quick so they grow out of these rather rather fast um so let's talk a bit about what i want to do next season already i don't no, to be honest, I want to see what our other non brumated rosies give us this year. But the numbers these past two years have been going down without brumating. So 
you know, I was thinking I start brewmating again, which isn't my favorite thing to do. Okay, I'm gonna bring out the baby. Are you guys ready? Baby. Can you bake them? Oh my gosh, they're luxurious. So, like I said, we only got three out of this litter. Most rosies will have, um, they're not like regular boas, that's for sure. They're not going to have a clutch of 20 plus babies. Um, this year, oh, like I said, we got three, but normally kind of anywhere, they give low numbers. Like it's not unheard of to see just one, but sometimes you can get, I have heard of people getting eight to 10, which is like the cream of the crop. But um, this year she gave us three. Uh, it looks like though we have two annery, visual annery babies. Whoa, God, they always scare me the first time. All right, I'm gonna put my sleeve down because I am a wimp and they tend, to... oh, you're gonna, are you kidding me? Oh, you're a snappy one. Oh, you're just like your mother. You are just like your mother. Why am I such a weenie, guys? Oh my gosh. They're coming to get me. We've got sassafras babies. I'm gonna scoop you up, you little... Oh, they're going after each other. All right, come here. So, if I could just show... Okay, okay, come on, come on. One, two, three. You can do this. You can do this. Come on. All right, if you're gonna bite, bite my sweatshirt. Here we go. So this is a visual annery baby. See how it's like oh, more silver? Ooh, I'll put it against the black. More silver on that, the grayish stripe. Instead of being like a solid gray, it's just more of a silver. And it looks like, to me, it's always lo looked like fish scales. They're shiny, freaking gorgeous. But that's what mom is. She is a visual um, anatheristic. So it grays them out beautiful and then they have the blue eyes i don't know if i'm ever going to be able to get a close enough shot to get the blue eyes but i'm telling you they're gorgeous so we've got one get into your baby hut and let's okay so oh i'll leave these two together oh you too really your little tongue is stuck in the outward position do you want to kill me ah so I do love getting like the annery babies because the annery is my favorite. Easy now, killer. Okay, let's get. Oh, God, why do you guys do this to me? They're so sassy when they're babies. All right, so here is a shot of our annery. And all of the anneries always take after their mother. See, like this guy is our. Het Annery, which means he's not a visual. He's just a regular Magdalena, and he's always fine. It's always that way. I mean, they get better as they grow. But I don't know if you can see. Please don't bite your brother. Hold on me. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see. But we got... This is not easy. There we go. Ah, you can't tell, can you? But anyway, one is more of like a straight gray as opposed to like a bluish silver and either way they're both super cute but man this annery is just my thing so let's plop our babies in oh my gosh you've been striking at me the full time haven't you and this sweet little whoop, don't fly out here's our sweet little regular baby i think most of these guys are spoken for once i get them to eat um, a good few meals. The other thing about baby rosies is sometimes they're a little hard to get to eat right away. Um, so I make, I, I hold them back for quite a while, give them at least five or six meals, sometimes up to 10 meals, depending on how they're doing. And I will only let them go if they are eating spectacular, oh, spectacularly, um, for me. But anyway, I wanted to hop on here and show you guys quick how amazing they are. We did only get three this year, but I am happy with it. And I'm happy with the ones we got. So let's wish them luck on their feeding journey. And uh, let me take you guys back. These are all hiding. Ooh. Sorry, I'm by myself. <laughs> and I can't do this technology. <laughs> okay, it's fine. All right, so uh, oh, it's been a little spicer. Uh, so I will get these guys named, tagged, labeled, and 
put into their little shelving rack unit. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. We are still waiting for, I've got four more Project Rosies going um, that should be dropping soon as well. Um, so keep it. Keep, oh, you might want to subscribe. Usually I never say stuff like that, but because it's like my super busy season with kids and baseball and football right now, I have like no time. So I literally, when the babies drop, I'll hop on and do something quick like this. Um, with not a lot of editing involved. And so you may want to subscribe just so that you can get and click your notification bell so that you get the notifications when I do drop these videos since they're not regular. Um, come winter, hopefully I'll be more regular, but right now it's too crazy. So anyway, so here's our three babies. They're amazing. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.